three, two, one. Lift off of the Falcon 9. Vehicles pitching downrange. Stage one props nominal. Stage one entry startup. Stage one is transonic. Stage one landing weird startup. Stage one landing leg deploy. Falcon 9 has landed. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, good morning. First flight of the day. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do the big stuff first, just to kind of protect our equipment for later flights, uh, or to ensure that the equipment is good for what we need it to test here. So the RAV5, uh, you notice I'm not running the ACE today. I'm just, well I will later on, but uh, just running the coupler, but I'm running the RFC, as well as the uh, brand new Egg Timer Quasar. It's a it's a two-in-one GPS slash altimeter that's up in the nose, uh, up in that payload bay there. And there's nothing in the nose. And that's one of the things I'm doing is trying to keep the weight further aft. So I'm trying to keep the weight down. So those are the only two uh, sets of equipment on board. We are running an air start because we're running the the two stage, running an F14. I'm sorry, F15-4, followed by an E12-6. Okay. Uh, again, the new altimeter unit. Uh, let me see if I can arm it here. Bear with me. Altimeter ready for launch. Okay, skies are clear, winds are calm. We are going in five, four, three, two, one. Oh no, no air start. Oh, oh goodness. Oh. High altitude 600 feet. 200 feet. Oh my gosh. And there's the chute. Landing. Okay, we'll see what happens. Okay, it looks like the air start did work, but we had a, a blowout. That's what happened. Talk about bad luck. Like a Kato? <sighs> okay, well, the altimeter's buzzing, so I'm guessing it, it did its job. Unbelievable. It broke right where I did the uh, repair. <sighs> Man. The RFC's not even on. 
I don't know. I'm gonna have to do some dissecting on this. I'm speechless. Unbelievable. Okay, what we actually saw coming down was the uh, the booster. Um, that's what came down under chute. The, the parachute never came out of the RAV5 because the motor KO'd on us. Again, just bad luck. So here everything is in good shape here. Should be at least. Yeah, everything looks good. The, uh, the booster did its job, it got it up. Okay, just want to do a quick little autopsy here for you, just kind of to clarify a few things. Uh, some of the things I s stated earlier were incorrect. Uh, the biggest and most important thing to note is um, I already pulled the plug out, but that's the igniter for the sustainer. So, um, as you can see, the sustainer never fired. The air start uh, did not kick off. So, what, uh, and then going back and looking at some video, the reason it's all separated is because it hit the ground pretty hard and that's what caused the separation but the rocket came down all in one unit this break right here happened on impact it, it was not a blowout it was not a kato um, you can't have a kato if a motor never even fires so again that the air star did not kick off hence we had no ejection for the parachute on the upper portion the booster came down nicely under chute because it had its own ejection charge and, and that worked out well. Um, I did find the camera. Um, it, uh, let me grab it here real quick. <clears throat> it, uh, it popped open. Um, brand new camera too, first flight. So hopefully we'll get home and uh, I've got the card taped in so we wouldn't lose the SD card. But uh, hopefully there's some data on it. I doubt it only because uh, when the, when the battery, or I should say when the camera shuts off so uh, violently, it doesn't save the, the video file. Anyway, um, kind of a rough start to the day there, but I just want to let you know in the autopsy here, the sustainer just didn't fire. That's, that's what happened. We did not have a Kato. I can't blame Estes for the, the motor on that one. Um, as much as I'd like to, <laughs> I can't. Um, no, they, they put out good stuff, but they had a, an issue there for a while with some bad e-motors. But, um, yeah, real bummer. Coupler is destroyed. Uh, brand new nose cone. It got split. Um, yeah, that's that's a rough one. I No, there's, I don't think they're salvaging this, this RAV at all. I think uh, it's time to move on to RAV 6. Eek. Anyway, just wanted to give you that update. Okay, after that rough start to the morning, uh, we're going to continue on. We're going to press forward and, and not give up. Um, as you can see, the infamous Captain Clucky has returned. How you doing there, Clucky? Good to hear. So we're gonna fly the Blue Origin once again, and uh, but Captain Clucky is happy to announce. Well, look, he's he's looking a little nervous about this one, and I'll tell you why. Because to my knowledge, this will be the first time that anyone has flown a Blue Origin as a two stager. Um, I've rigged up a mounting system here to hold the booster. So we'll be running a D120 in the booster, followed by an A83. Now the the issue, and you might be thinking uh, as long as as well as I am on this, a three second delay I don't think is enough. But I really don't want to put more than an A in it, and that's the only A that I've got. So I'm just kind of counting on that the uh, the shock cord holds and everything because it's probably going to deploy well before Apogee. Um, but the the point of this test flight is to see if the booster actually can ignite the sustainer and prove that the center of gravity and center of pressure are sufficient. I, I don't, I haven't run a, a simulation, I wouldn't know how to. Um, it might be a little tail heavy. So I'm just hoping that uh, that's not the case, but uh, we'll soon see. And as I'm talking about this, he's just looking more and more scared. You're not scared, are you, Clucky? 
Okay, well, well, once he gets strapped in, he'll he'll feel safe in the cockpit, and we'll we'll be back to normal. So let's get him strapped in now to the pad. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, Captain Clucky is on the pad. He's strapped into the cockpit, and he's uh, he's a little nervous. I won't admit. Uh, as it was a little tough putting him in. He was uh, he was resisting. Um, he was more or less forced in. Forced in. We did have to sedate him a little bit to kind of calm him down and, and get strapped in. But uh, he's in the he's up in the cockpit now. He's well, not much choice he had in the matter. But uh, anyway, he's on board. Scanning the sky, skies are clear. I'm running no onboard electronics because, uh, yeah, I just don't know what I'm going to get here. I'm running an 18 inch parachute, again, followed by, uh, well, let's see, we've got a D12, followed by an A83. All right, first time to my knowledge a Blue Origin has been two staged. All right, with that, we are armed, skies are clear, winds are calm. We are going in five, four, three, two, one. It worked! Awesome! Here comes the, the booster. Okay, it's down. And, oh, there it is. Coming down nicely under chute. That was a very stable flight. Although when you got an onboard pilot, he can steer it for you. That was impressive. All right, Captain Clucky has touched down. Let's go get him. That was a very stable flight. I was uh, I was highly impressed with how well that went. And uh, the staging worked. The booster came down. I hope the camera picked that up nicely. And then, uh, yeah. So that's probably the highest. Hey, uh, well, I don't know about the highest because we're only running an A motor. So, uh, and later on flights though, I can uh, safely trust a B and C maybe down the road. Okay, oh there it is. Okay, walking up on it. Yeah, and with the C motors, obviously it'll go a lot higher and I'll get that longer delay because I can get like a C67 or something in, inside. All right, everything looks fantastic. Shoot, looks good. We'll check on Clucky here in a second. There's the rocket. Let's see how things look in the back here. All right, the retainer ring did its job. It kept the booster on and kept the motor in. All the fins look good. That was phenomenal. All right, let's check on Clucky. We love doing this part of the video. Knock, knock. Are you awake? Okay. There you are. All right, Captain Plucky. Anything you want to say? Excellent, excellent. Okay, well, we'll get you packed back up and then uh, take you over to medical. And uh, once you're cleared, you are good to go home. And. Uh, carry on the rest of your day. All right, that made up for the last flight, that's for sure. That was that was a lot of fun. Let me get my shadow out of the way. All right, moving on to the next one. Okay, walking up on the booster, and of all things, it landed nicely in a bush. So that's really awesome to see. 
obviously going to be no damage to it. But uh, yeah, the D12 did its job, got uh, the Blue Origin up where it needed to go. So, again, I, I think in future flights we'll try the D motor followed by a B or even a C. So that was a, a successful flight, a good deal. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, next flight up, we've got an old, uh, an old classic here you might recognize, you may not. This is actually the Bumblebee. It's a 3D printed plastic rocket that Joe from JC Hobbies flew last time he was out here and it suffered a, a rough post-flight uh, injury. We'll just leave it at that. But uh, anyway, he went home and uh, printed up a new one and he said I could have this uh, old one if I could fix it up, which I did. So it's fixed up, ready to go. I'm not flying the uh, the booster on it. I'm not going to do a two stage like he did last time, but uh, eventually I will get to that, but not today. So I'm running a single stage C63. Uh, now I'm borrowing a red plastic payload bay from my Yankee that he printed up for me oh, about a year ago. So that's holding my Jolly Logic 2 on board. Uh, that's the only electronics I've got on it. I'm running a nine inch parachute and because I don't want it to drift too much but that being said scanning the sky skies are clear winds are dead calm we are going in five four three two one perfect great little flight that's a perfect descent Oh, my back, it's twisting, heading toward the sun. It'll be interesting to see what the altimeter shows. Touchdown, nice. Okay, let's go get it. Yeah, that was a nice little flight. Perfect, perfect climb up. Flew nice and straight, and it looked like on the way down everything remained intact. I wasn't sure if the three second delay was gonna be long enough, but uh, I think it was. And if the, if the altimeter shows negative on the uh, ejection time, that's okay, that's to be expected. Because, uh, I mean, it went straight up. I don't think it could have gone much straighter. I put a nine inch chute in there just cause I wasn't sure if I'd get a, a 12 inch to fit and I didn't want any hang ups or anything. So, all right, let's see if we can find it. Yellow parachute, the bumblebee. So many things glisten in the sunlight. In, these, uh, in the early morning like this that everything everything you look at looks like it might be it ah I almost walked past it but I think I see it yes that's that's it awesome oh my goodness look at that parachute I'd say we blew a hole in it. <laughs> wow, well, now it's got a spill hole. Uh, didn't mean for that to happen, but uh, it happened. My goodness. Wow, okay. <laughs> Maybe a little bit more wadding next time. But uh, yeah, everything's good. The repair, the repair was right here, right about the midpoint of the uh, l launch lug. And, uh, well, it's warm, I can feel some heat from the motor ejection still, but uh, it's intact. The end looks good, no zip ring. The motor stayed in, it's a friction fit. 
C63. Awesome. All right, we'll go head back in and check the altimeter and get some data. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, keeping with the theme of 3D printed plastic rockets, I've got another rocket here from Joe. This is called the Pathfinder, and he gifted this to me recently. And uh, I want to thank him, and I want to thank him again also for that bumblebee. What a what a nice piece to have in the collection now, and it flew absolutely superb. So I'm tickled with that. So thanks again, Joe, and thank you for this one. This is the maiden flight actually, and uh, because of that, I'm just running an A83 motor, keeping it simple. But I'm running a uh, what do I have in there? I think I got the 18-inch 18, 18 parachute, and uh, I've got the Jolly Logic 2 up in the nose cone. So just keeping it simple, maiden flight, and so here we go. Skies are clear, winds are calm. A83 motor. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice, very nice. That was a great flight. And what's smoking? Something's. What is this? Is that wadding? Look at that. <laughs> Not very often you get to see uh, the wadding come down and still smoke right in front of you. That is really something. I don't know why I'm so intrigued by this, but you just never see it. So that's actually the, the what they call dog barf, that cellulose fiber. That's what that is. So anyway, we'll let that simmer in the rocks. But coming over to the rocket here, we'll do a quick uh, inspection on it. Looks good. Looks like the the body kept the heat uh, tamed, <laughs> so it didn't melt on us. Excellent. Little A83 motor. Awesome. That was a fun flight. That was a uh, that was textbook right there.